Now we've created the form. We've input information into that form and we've used Power Automate to populate planner or to do with tasks. And now how do we view and manage that information on a day-to-day -day basis? Let's use Teams to do that. And we can use Teams tasks, which includes tasks from both planner and to do. They'll automatically be populated from your form entry through Power Automate. It's a lot of stuff, but today we're just going to tackle on managing those tasks within to do and planner that's found within Teams. If you haven't seen how to create the form or create the Power Automate for Power for Planner and for To Do, see previous videos. Let's check this out on how to manage those tasks now within Teams. So directly from your Teams interface, we can manage our Planner tasks and our To Do tasks. So this makes it a lot easier for us to access information when we're dealing with chats and Teams and calendar and calls and video conferencing and things like that. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're gonna close this here just with selecting that X. Now, how did we get to here? If you don't see this, you may have another one of these applications open in this section here. So just go ahead and click and you'll see that, for example, I just clicked Power Apps. Now I see Tasks by Planner. I'm just gonna click back on Tasks by Planner and it'll reappear and show me all of my tasks. So let's take a look at what we have here and kind of kind of see um, the lay of the land here when it comes to Microsoft Planner uh, within Teams, the Teams environment and to do within the Teams environment. So here you can see uh, pretty basic. These three here allow us to see an expanded memory. We can see more of the tasks and the name of the tasks there. Um, here we can filter, of course, with active and completed, and we can also filter by, you know, what's due today, for example, what's due tomorrow, what's due this week. So you can see how you can kind of filter down through future, no date, with due date, late. So we can easily just kind of come in and see everything that we want to see within our environment quickly and easily. The filter also is a great place to search for information. So remember, if you search here, you cannot search there because it's going to search all of Teams. But I can search here, for example, sample, which is a sample task we created. And there is the task. So we can use this filter and then you clear it when you're done and everything comes back. So that's a nice feature to be able to search within uh, this section here within Teams. Remember, don't be tempted with the search button here. Use it here under filter. Here we have our important tasks. So any task that's been labeled as important within the task. So you can see here, this is a planner task. You see how we see more details. So it's marked priority important. So it's showing up under important and I can see all of the comments as well. Now, you can also see here the source. So this is a planner task. Remember, we were looking at tasks. The source for this is to do or Microsoft tasks. But here, when we look, we can see the source as the actual plan. So you can see these are three different plans within planner. And when we look at planner, for example, M365, we're going to find that task in there which is gonna look, by the way, exactly like the task looks right here. So we'll just search for CDS again. We're gonna search here using a filter and we're just gonna search for CDS and there is the task right there. Now notice we see the task, everything's there, all of the text, it looks exactly like it looks here within our environment. The only difference is we're showing on card here we're not seeing that in a preview here. So, but you can see that there is an attachment there. This right here s indicates that there are subtasks or checklist items, three of the four completed. And here we have subtasks and attachment. It also has a label on it, dependencies, all of that we can see right here. We can also see due dates. We can also click on here and see sort, find, change, 
do all of those things. We can change its bucket. We can change its due date. We can do that, change its priority. So we could just move it to medium, for example, and now it disappears from this list. Planned, these are tasks that are currently planned. Now notice here that we have tasks. Do you notice the logo here? It looks kind of like a, a baseball field um, uh, base. So here, those are all planned tasks. And then these tasks are assigned to me. So you can see again, you can see the different logos uh, that are used and the different plans that it's within. And then of course, this is your to-do. You can just create, I'm sorry, this section right here, the this to-do and planner um, is a section that, let me go back there. This is within to-do. So let's go ahead and look at to-do. Do you see these two right here? So those are, with, I'm within Microsoft to-do now and I'm gonna drag I'm going to drag one into to do there. I'm going to drag this other one into planner. And then when we go back over into teams, now you're going to see when we click on that section, new task, and then planner, you'll see the sample task. So this is just a different way to organize within to do, whereas within planner, we have plans. And you can see here just different plans and groups within those plans. We were looking at the M365. So here is the M365 Outlook group and then their tasks, when we click on it, we can see all of the tasks and more information. But here we're just looking at the to-do um, group, what they call groups and lists. These are lists. So to conclude here, let's look at the task section um, within the planner area we know that we're in planner at this point and because we're right here under planner so if we didn't want to see that we get rid of it we are under planner and now you can see people who are assigned to it again you can see checklists attachments labels you can see progress half done you can see due dates what bucket it's in you can also look at this a little differently by going to the direct board. So I can close that and look directly at the board, just like I would see within Planner. Notice the preview is working there. I can also see the charts, and these are charts found within Planner itself. And I can also see the schedule for this plan right here within Schedule. So and it looks like it's gonna take a few minutes to come up, but you can see that, and then you can go to List. So you have a lot more you have several more options available for you uh, within, within the planner section of Teams than you do within the to-do section. And that's about it. That's how you manage. So you can just add information here just like you would normally. Here's checklist items. You can add text and send it. You can do pretty much anything that you can do within planner. You can do right here within this section as well. So it becomes a little easier to manage. If you're wondering, golly, I just can't manage. I don't know how to use Planner, but people are assigning me tasks inside of Planner. Well, that's pretty easy since you don't really have to use Planner in order to get to those tasks. Here, for example, LED21, this group is made up of 150 or so folks from all over the university and they can easily see what their tasks are. You can sort by bucket. Um, you can sort by assign to. So there's lots of options, due date. So lots of options available here to make it easy for us to kind of manage and look at the environment. The calendar view gives you a schedule view. And as you can see, it's trying to work. There it comes. Um, here we can see the calendar view. Um, look at all of our tasks. We can also see that by the week as well. So we can see what tasks are coming up during that week. So it becomes very easy for us to manage our tasks right within the environment where we're already looking at posts, chats, teams, all of that right here within the Microsoft Teams environment.